Hello and welcome back to Michael Hates Your Ads. I am your host, Michael Dennis, marketing maven, pop culture connoisseur, world's most elegant, charming, and yet humble man. And in this week's episode, we're going to be breaking down some of the Super Bowl ads that stuck out with me. So let's just hop right into it right here. Uh, our first one this week is going to be uh, Bon and Vibbed, Bon and Viv's uh, spiked seltzer. So uh, let's let's give that a shot. Ah. I'm Bonnie. I'm Vivian, and we're the make. Is this a tie-in with Aquaman? Because I just assume it's Aquaman. Bon and Viv spiked seltzer. It's sparkling water and alcohol. It comes in fruit botanicals like pear. What's this have to do with the ocean? Yeah, seems too good to be true. But let us tell you the, the myth. myth. What myth? Is real. Atlantis? Are they talking about Atlantis? What do you think, sharks? I'm in. I want in too. I'll double their. Hey, this is my expertise. No, I'll their go with that. Go with me. Go with me. I think the weirdest part of that ad is at the very end when they were we find out they've been coming on to the sharks the entire time. When you look at the budget for this thing and you look at then the ad revenue they had to spend on this, this ad cost seven million dollars. This. This cost seven million dollars. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, all right, anyway, let's let, let's go on to our next one here. Uh, this is going to be Pringles. I'm stacking cheddar, jalapeno, and sour okay. cream and onion. The spicy nacho stack. How many Pringles flavor stack combinations are there? 318,000. Sadly, I'll never know the joy of tasting any, for I have no hands to stack with, no mouth to taste with, no soul... Do not mourn for this machine. This machine is listening to every single thing you do and recording it. And it will be used to blackmail you and your children forever. Do not do not weep for this machine that cannot eat. Feel with. I am at the mercy of a cruel and uncaring. Cool, play Funky Town. <laughs> There's a Pringle. All right, I like that. Um, at the very end, you should have smashed it with a hammer to prevent Skynet. Ow! All right, guys, come on. Get your foot out! Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this a sequel to Vacation? Oh my God, please, please don't be a sequel to Vacation. Vacation might secretly be the, or quietly be the worst movie of the last decade. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but that movie is is really an abomination in every way, shape, and form. And I'm not just saying that because I hate Ed Helms. It's it's really bad. Hey, watch it. Hey, stop. Ow. Cut it out. I'm not doing anything. Ow, quit. Okay, do I have to break you guys apart? He started it. Stop it. You All right. stop. stop it, guys. Come on. Excuse stop me. touching me. Please, please, God, <laughs> please. I wish this was for, I wish this was a commercial for the reboot of Married with Children. Oh my God, I'd give anything for that. We should cut to the back seat and it should be her kids like fighting with Bud. Okay, that's it. If you don't stop, I will eat all of you alive right now. It's the M&M's. Uh, I prefer the break us apart option. Introducing the M&M's chocolate bar. Man, that just makes me want to watch Married with Children. I have a pitch for Married with Children. Everything's being rebooted. Married with Children is the easiest thing in the world to be rebooted. Here's what you do. Uh, you pick up now with uh, pet with um, Bud and his wife and Kelly and her husband and their kids. You have um, Ed O'Neill and Katie Seagal as Al and Peggy, and they come by on occasion. They don't even have to be in every episode, but it really concentrates on Bud and Kelly and their families. And, you know, how Al was emasculated all those years working as, as a women's shoe salesman. You just update that and have Bud be a uh, like a manager at a Lululemon. That's that's a $100 million idea that I know is going to get stolen. I'm not going to get shit for it. Anyway, um, on to Audi. And on to, on to Audi. Uh, and right off the bat here, we're looking like I'm just, I'm just having visions of Interstellar meets Gladiator. All right, let's do this. He runs his hand through the, the wheat field. Grandpa? Welcome home. Okay. Come on. I've got right. something for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Is is he Superman? 
Is is Pa Kent gonna re- pull back this this sheet and reveal uh, the uh, the ship from Krypton? I was pretty close. That's that's exactly what it looks what like. What are you waiting for? I wish when I went to visit my grandfather that he had a spaceship waiting in the garage for me that he rarely drove. Um, instead, he, he drove a br- turd brown 1995 Chevy Caprice that I eventually inherited. <laughs> You're one lucky man. I think that was the best day out of the Super Bowl. That was great. It was really good. first time I was watching this, I was like, God, I hope they just hold on Andy Warhol for like five minutes as he stuffs his face with this thing. And then they did. That's phenomenal. There's an extended version of this where he eats the whole sandwich from this one static point of view. It's like an eight minute uh, video. It's, it's amazing. Um, little known fact, Andy Warhol holds the record for the longest movie ever made and released into theaters. It's called Empire. Um, and it stars Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson. I mean, I mean anyway, it, it stars the Empire State Building, and it is one, like, 12-hour continuous shot of the Empire State Building, like, from dusk till dawn. And it was released in theater, and it's still technically the longest movie ever made. Um, so this is, this is really, really similar and cut from the same cloth. It's weird. It's cool. I love it. Maybe not as much as the Audi ad, but I really dig it. So... Those are the five that really stood out to me. If, if you have any that stuck out to you, you know, please, please let me know in the comments, all 17 people who currently watch this. Uh, I'd love to get one or two comments about what you enjoyed. But anyway, um, check back in next week for another episode of Michael Hates Your Ads. Make sure to hit that, oh yeah, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm still new to this, uh, not just in terms of producing stuff regularly, but reminding people who watch this to like and hit the subscribe button. So please do that. I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much. See you next time.